house is so quiet. Let's hope it lasts for this video, guys. Welcome back to Appalachia's Homestead. We have a great video for you today. Simple $1 preps for anybody's home from the Dollar General. We have 40 of them today. 40, and that's not all that the Dollar General offers in its $1 sections, but we're gonna start here. Let's go. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. All the puppies are asleep. All the children are doing homework. It's quiet and a perfect time to film a video. So welcome back to the channel. We welcome you to Appalachia's Homestead. My name is Patera, and thank you so much for joining us today. Listen, anybody can prepare. Anybody can do it. And especially you can do it even if you are on a budget. Here's the deal. This is about budget-friendly items. I realize that these, some of these items you may not need. I realize you may get these items from other places in different quantities, but I'm trying to provide a video today for ideas of simple things that you can get for $1. You can't pull that off at the Dollar Tree anymore now, can you? But your local Dollar General may offer you a lot of different varieties of, a variety of items one dollar. So let's hit it. Let's see what we got. So let me add this. The reason I'm showing this is because if you live very rural, a lot of times folks like you out there that live in the rural communities and especially that are on a budget or not necessarily on a budget, you just like the Dollar General from time to time. This is a great place for you to stop in and to find items to pack away in your prepper pantry, in your medicine stash, and more. Also understand that I think all of them do, but you may also have available to you a $5 off $25 every Saturday at your local Dollar General. So my point is, is let's say you get 40 items, right? Roughly $40, then you're gonna have tax. But hey, you may have coupons available to you and you may be able to have a $5 off coupon as well, depending on the scenario of all the things that you're buying. So check that out, okay? To the left, to the left. To the left, to the left, we're gonna start here. Baking items, they have all kinds of little $1 baking items. I like to make banana bread in these because you can split them up. Also things like this are very useful for outdoor cooking, okay? Not expensive, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. We've talked about this before. I am obsessed with dental care. <laughs> I never have enough toothbrushes. Guys, you can get toothbrushes all day long. They even have multiple packs, but this is a medium. Uh, the multiple packs had more in them, so it depends upon what you want to get, okay? But as low as $1, you can get brand new toothbrushes, okay? Just know that those are there in different packs and whatnot. Along with that, look here, all kinds of different little toothpaste. Again, these are backup items. These are pantry items. These are great items for you to give away in... Um, you know, giveaway bags for people that you want to have, you know, you know what, you know, they're not prepping, but you want them to have some stuff. So, you know, you did your part. A lot of these items can apply there too. Different types of toothpaste. You will never, ever, ever in forever in your life have enough of triple antibiotic in your home in your first aid kit, okay? It can get very pricey too, depending on where you shop and the brand. You can get these at the Dollar General for $1.00. Go grab you several, put them in your first aid kit. I'm gonna set her right there. So let's slide this over. We did this and this and this. I love this right here. I understand some people don't like this type of soap. It's basically like Irish Spring. The reason I love this soaps uh, is be these soaps is because uh, you're looking at four ounces. So you're not getting a three ounce bar or just one bar. You're getting two four ounce bars. They're great to throw back into your uh, cabinet, in your pantries, in your bathrooms. Everybody likes to smell a little bit Irish sometimes, right? Nothing wrong with that. Okay. Handy dandy scrubbers. I use this all day long in my sink. This is, I have two different types of scrubbers in my sink. This is not what I use for all my cast iron, but on my regular dishes, I have several of these in stock because I love these. It has the handle, does a great job, quick, simple, easy. No worries. You're going to want to have to clean your dishes regardless of what the economy is doing, right? Matches. Matchmaker, matchmaker, make me a match. <laughs> we will. Looky here. All of these, all of this right here. So you can spread them out across the house. You can have one in the car. You can have one in your uh, bug out bag if you've got one or your get home bag. Matches all day long. Quick and easy. Throw it in the buggy. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Now, depending on the situation, I think it's very handy dandy to have disposable cook, uh, you know, uh, cutlery, forks, um, bowls, things like that. And looky here, you get 30 little bowls 
for $1. I don't think that's a bad shake. It's a backup item. Endless applications there. At least you know you have them. Okay, if you don't want to smell like the pig in the barn, hey, we got you covered, baby. Now, they have different types of deodorants. Two or three different ones I've noticed that they have um, available that you could pick up on for a dollar. So, this is not the only one. But, I mean, who doesn't want to smell like fresh lavender? I mean, it's beautiful, right? So, there's an option there. I pick up on some of these cheap little soaps. I think they're cute. Um, I like to place them in my bathroom. As I've said before, it's like dental care. Soap. You can never have too much soap uh, in a prepared pantry. Different things. Like I said, this may not be a scent that you like, but I'm telling you, when you can get something like this for a dollar or less, something quick and easy. In fact, I got that and I got this. I actually, this one, was this one a dollar? It may have been a little bit cheaper. No, I think it was one dollar. Both of these were in the $1 section. The good thing about them is also that you can buy refills. If you already have refills, it's nice from time to time to get a new little container. Uh, this one is super cute, and then you just have to refill it. So there's some options there. Remember Salon Selectives back in the late 80s and early 90s? Girls, we were all up in it, weren't we? Now you can get it for a buck at the Dollar General. So this is basic shampoo. They have conditioners too. You know, that's up to you, but it's a good size bottle. Great to have stashed away, you know, smelling like salon selectives is not a bad thing. In addition to the scrubbers, you can buy different sizes, different styles, different packs of uh, scrubbers, sponges. So this may not be the one that you exactly have, but it is a three pack. You can use it for all kinds of different things. I like that it's not only a sponge, but it has also the scrubby side too for $1. In addition to that, I picked up a pack of this, Steel Wool. That's right. You're going to want to have to clean your dishes. You're going to want to want to you're going to want to want to clean your pots and pans and all kinds of different things. So, I picked up on that. Look, eight of them in there for $1. Can't beat that. Remember what I said? Now, wait, let's bounce over here. Mothballs. I think it's good for you to have something like this if you're packing clothes away, depending on your home and issues like that. Um, some people put these also around for certain critter control. Yes, moth mothballs do work. So this is something you might want to pick up on. One dollar, not a bad deal to have. Just kind of put away in the garage or put away in the closet right there. Okay, I'm telling you, I'm big into this too. I think it's nice to have different situations for everything, okay? You, typically, you're going to be using your regular cutlery, and you're going to be washing it with your sponges and whatnot, but having something like this for a buck, just in case of an emergency, what if you need to give something away? You can give some forks away with it. Let's keep on going down the line, girl. All right. I had never seen this at any other Dollar General, so when I was picking up on the deodorant real fast, I also picked up on these washcloths. One dollar. Uh, you can see uh, it's, you're going to smell good. Nice options in case you don't have, you know, water available. You know, you can also use this to go camping, um, throw into your purse if you're going out for the day, whatever. So you don't necessarily have to have some of these for just preparedness, but it's nice to have them as well. So there's different types of wet wipes and wa you know, washcloths type. They're not washcloths, but wet wipes. Um, but this one was available and I'd never seen it, so I picked up on it. Oh, the story of our life here in East Tennessee. If I had a nickel for every time I've eaten pinto beans in my life, y'all, we'd all be very, very wealthy. <laughs> you too, okay? Um, pinto beans. Now, you can typically find, still here, depending on where you go, Aldi and maybe even Walmart. Uh, you can find pinto beans for less than a dollar a pound if you buy bigger bags. I realize that. Not everybody can just hop in the car and go to these places, especially if you live rural. So every time you're in there, just pick you up a bag of pinto beans. Stash them away. One dollar. I can make this easily into two family meals without even thinking of it with a side of cornbread. That'd be 50 cents each, right? Now, we already talked about this. This is the dry shampoo. You may not be washing your hair every day. If you're outside working a lot and very, very busy, you may not wash your hair every day anyway. Something nice to have. If you have a septic system like me, you have to be very particular about different things, right? You don't want everything going down the drain. I don't even have a disposal. Um, so this right here is to, to be another little catchment, a little sink strainer. I thought having one for a buck was easy just to put back in the cabinet. So therefore, if something happens to the ones that I have, I've got a backup. That's the whole point. Now, I've heard everybody talk about how expensive bleach has gotten, and it's insane. They have these right here. You get the tablets 
Um, all of these, look at there, all the different bleach tablets, you get eight for one dollar. So you can just let it sit, okay? I mean, I would totally think, I don't, I don't know if it has a date on it or not. I'm, at this point, I'm not really sure it matters, right? You just want to make sure you have items on the shelf. So if you haven't seen the little tablets, they have these at the local Dollar General for one dollar. Aloe, no, excuse me, not aloe, tea tree. Tea tree is very important for different applications. You know, if you haven't thought about this, this is kind of gross for me to mention. Um, but, you know, if you have issues with lice down the road, uh, an emergency situation, you may want to have a kit and a little comb and all that stuff. Um, but I hear that tea tree oil is very good with that. Somebody comment down below and tell me what you think about that. I've never dealt with that personally, but I do know of different applications, and that is one of them. So tea tree is very important. Always pain relief. Even if you're a pain in the butt, you, sometimes you deserve some pain relief yourself. So look here, you've got 40 caplets for a buck. Tylenol is very expensive, right? This is your basically your acetaminophen, 500 milligrams. Nice to put back in case of an emergency after what we've been through the past couple of years. I would say that's pretty important. Let me tell you right now, absolutely, because if you get out and you work the garden, you work the farm, believe me, you're gonna run into something like I did over the weekend Ouch, what she got going on there? This is what I'm putting on it right now, okay? Uh, the contact dermatitis. So definitely want to have some hydrocortisone cream uh, for anti-itching and rash, et cetera, et cetera. These are awesome. I don't know if you've ever taken this before. If I start to get a cold, I do a lot of natural things like oregano oil and different things like that. But sometimes if I'm throwing hay, um, or if I start to feel a little sickly, they also have the sinus one. These work very well for me. This is just a two pack for a dollar, but actually if you do the math on them, they're cheaper if you buy them in these little two packs and then opposed to buying the whole big one. Okay. So I, I keep these on hand for situations a couple of times a year. Very, very, very important to my family. Toothpicks. My husband actually picked this out, no pun intended. He picked out the toothpicks. He said, do we have extra toothpicks? I said, I believe so. He said, well, let's just get one more little set here for a dollar. Endless needs for this, okay? Obviously, just like things like tweezers and uh, clothespins and different things like that. You just never know when a toothpick's going to do the job. Now, here we have cotton swabs, whether you use them or not inside of your ears to clean your ears out. You can use these for lots of other things as well, especially to clean your pew-pews and other things like that. Catch my drift, wink, wink, wink. Uh, you definitely want to get different types of Q-tips. 300, now they're not the hard, I don't believe that, I think they're the plastic, aren't they? Uh, the plastic sticks, so they're not as hard, they'll bend some, maybe you like that, you know, better. Uh, but 300 for a buck, yeah, you better bet I'm throwing it in the buggy. I got a comment, actually, from a gal this past week who told me that a Q-tip plant in Maine, <clears throat> excuse me, was closing and, uh, is, and was laying off 300 employees. So, I want to get you some Q-tips. Different types of cleaners. I'm all about natural cleaners. Oh, uh, what is she talking about? Natural cleaners. And any type. I mean, for a dollar. Now, I realize that you can probably get a larger one for a dollar twenty-five at Dollar Tree, depending on if, what their inventory is. Um, but like I said, I don't turn my nose up to things, folks. This is not the time to be doing that. I like some of the Fabulosos. I think they work well to quickly, you know, do the job. So, I picked up on that scent right there. Scissors. I don't know what it is, but this family goes through scissors like water. Uh, we have a ton of scissors. I use them in the kitchen. You just use them for regular things. I use them in the garage. I use them in the barn. So again, now, will these last me forever? Probably not, but you know, for a dollar, I'm not gonna complain. You can all, they also had some larger ones, but these were, we got a couple of these small ones just to have on hand. Now, we talked about the cotton swabs or your Q-tips. We also have cotton balls you cannot get enough cotton balls. Now, again, you might be able to go to Walmart and get a little bit better of a deal depending on how many and whatever. I don't know. Again, I'm not going into Walmart to find out. So I grabbed another one of these right here. All kinds of different applications for Q-tips. First aid, fire starter, all of the different things that you wanna use them for. Vinegar, vinegar, vinegar. Vinegar isn't cheap anymore, and I'm hearing that it's getting a little tough in some places to get, or it's predicted it could be a little tough over the summer. I pick up vinegar wherever I 
basically just like anything else. So I have larger ones, yes, but for a buck for me to keep this in the kitchen and to refill it, you better bet I'm going for it. Now we'll bounce down here. Again, I'm all about having different types of things for first aid. Uh, cold, flu, relief. These very basic items, if you use them in time, it, obviously if you can, if you, you know, you're not allergic or something weird like that, um, a lot of these items, if you if you start to feel a little wimpy, a little sick, and you get on it soon enough, your basic cold treatment items, flu treatment items, can actually prevent a lot of damage to your body, okay? So I just want to let you know that's why you're seeing these. This, here's another one right here, and then, of course, we've got Band-Aids. 75 different Band-Aids, 75 Band-Aids for a dollar. Are they going to stick on you like glue till the end of time? Probably not. But for a quick deal to have for a buck, or if you don't have any Band-Aids at all for a dollar, this is better than nothing. Another thing I go through hardcore is parchment paper. Now, you can get all kinds of larger rolls at Costco and Sam's and all that. Absolutely do it, okay? I have those too. But for one dollar, you don't have any, you don't have an excuse, okay? These are the different pre-cut sheets. I use this in a lot of my cast iron. So if you're sitting there going, what am I going to use that for? Chocolate chip cookies? I'm not going to be cooking no chocolate chip cookies in an apocalypse. No, but you might be cooking on fire and cast iron and making homemade bread because I've taught you all of that too, or biscuits. Believe me, this will be your best friend in that scenario. Soap. Soap it up, girl. Dish soap. Now, I, just like you, I don't know what's going on with Dawn dish soap and some of these high-grade dish soaps lately. They're as thin as water. So I've pretty much stopped buying a lot of them, and I'm just going ahead and getting the cheapies. I am for a buck. Why would I why pay five dollars for something when I can get it for one? Okay. And you need a different variety of items. I got a I guess that's the lemon, and then I got the original scent here. One dollar. Again, one dollar on the pine glow. Kind of like your pine salt type thing. Spray down the toilet, wipe down the countertop, yada, yada, yada. Same thing with the Comet. I'm not turning my nose up to it. Am I going to use it every day? No. But for $1, I can't complain. Again, you're covering your basis, your bases on a simple budget. And last but not least, just like the parchment paper. Looky here. Great for foil wraps. If you're going to be baking or cooking outside and you've got some fresh vegetables or a little bit of meat, and you're going to be cooking on fire, this is already done for you right here. Those are the sheets. You can make the little foil packs. You can use it for anything. So again, this is not something cheap that you buy elsewhere typically. Neither is the parchment paper. So simple, quick backups as you go for a dollar. You better believe it. Whew. Let me catch my breath. I tried to fly through that, y'all. Going over 40 different items, I tried to make it less than 10 minutes. I, I went over a little bit, but I think you're going to forgive me. So listen, check out your Dollar General, okay? Check out the situation with the $5 off 25 as well. Oh, somebody's here. He's awful cute. <laughs> but anyway, um, go just browse through. Think about what you have, some simple items that you need to just add a backup for. One dollar. There's no excuse. You can absolutely do it. When push comes to shove, it is no time to be picky. And that is the time that we are in right now, right? And we'd like to stay on a budget. If you have any questions, let me know. Please comment down below. Like I said, hey, there's a ton of other things there, different things that you prefer, or maybe there's something that I've never seen before at your Dollar General. Just check it out. Keep adding. Like I said, even if you're just doing a few things every week, just like your five or 10 cans of food, one bag of cat food, whatever these items are to make sure that you are prepared, continue to do it. This is a nice little haul. I like it. All right, guys, we appreciate you. Like, subscribe, and share. Let us know what you think. Be safe, and we'll see you guys on the next video.